please. A round of applause for our young man, Toya. So how are you doing, sir? I don't feel special anymore. That just made me feel good. Yeah. You see what you just... I didn't do anything. Okay, do you want to go off and then we do it again? Yes, sir. And he said yes. Okay, alright, so it's not me. Last but not least, the man in the house, Toya, please make some noise! Sweat off, sweat off the stage. Alright, so young, young man, tell us about your business and what you do. Good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, my name is Toyo. Um, basically, I started my business, the Vet Hair. Um, I sell hair for women, um, men, if you want to wear hair. <laughs> yeah, so, what I aim to do is provide luxurious, like, elegant hair. Um, basically, I was with my girlfriend at the time. Um, I followed her shopping. I knew it was going to be a long process. <laughs> so I prepared myself for the day and um, went to Croydon, if everybody anyone knows it. Yeah. So it was in that area. And Croydon's got loads of shops either side of the road, the high street. Yeah. I was going to all of these different hair shops and there was a special hair behind the till and now bring out a Brazilian. hundred pounds. <laughs> so I was like, what? A hundred pounds for one of these? I was like, how many do you need? Oh, two to three. So that's 300 pounds, 200, 300 pounds. So, yeah. And that was normal. Went to another shop, same thing. Another shop, same thing. I was like, okay. Right, let's, let's look into this. So, looked into it. And my thing was, I've got a lot of female friends and a lot of people I know that spent ridiculous money on hair. So I just wanted to provide a service where they could have nice hair and afford the press. So, um, yeah, that's where it all stemmed from. And that's what I'm trying to provide now. Wow. Okay. So, in the three months that you've journeyed with Project Your Turn, and I think, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, probably one of the youngest growing with us, and I've had the fortune of knowing this young man for pretty much three quarters, if not more, of his life. See, I like to get involved in people's business. But um, in the three months, how's it been? Um. But the whole mindset thing is, is real. <laughs> um, I, okay, sorry, sorry. That's, we need to jump. Yeah. We, need, we need to split it. Because she's been on the program as well. So, first of all, we talk about Project Your Talent. Um, yeah, so Project Your Talent itself is... I'm a person where I used to think anything like this would benefit the person providing the service more than me, myself. Um, and I can honestly say this is not like that at all. Like you do benefit from it, both personally and through business as well. Um, just to give you an example of both, um, personally, um, my mum will tell you herself, anytime somebody's asked me what I want to do from a young age, I just say successful. I've never been able to, even up until now, I can't put a job or a role in it. And society kind of makes you feel like that's the wrong mindset to have. Mm -hmm. Through this, that's not the wrong mindset to have. And I call him Uncle Tony. He showed me that that's okay. Um, through business, um, basically, he asked me to implement one thing through the business itself. Um, after one of our okay, meetings. Okay, sorry, I need to pause because he just 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 bought the whole thing. But it's all right. So he's talking about he's talking about. So he's also the youngest student on the GPS program. So what he's talking to you about now is his experience on that program. Get it? So that's what he's talking about. That's alright, it's cool. It's all right. He's just so excited, he wants to share with everyone. Now you've got it. Yeah, now you've got it. You said it, Tom. Yeah, so after one of our meetings, um, he suggested I try something. So I thought, okay, cool. So I tried it, and within the following week, my sales went up by more than 100%. Wow. 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 So I'm just going to keep trying to implement that as well. How much is the hair? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is a business. In fact, I was going to get onto it at the end. Basically, on the website right now, I've put a promotion on there. 20% of the hair is, there's a discount code you put in. I'll tell everybody. It's deep. It was like PYT13, Projector Talent 13, on the website. It's thevethair.com. 
I'll see you two afterwards. But it's okay. reasonably priced. Very reasonably priced. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So basically, it kind of shows that if these young people can do it, anyone can do it, right? To be honest, making money isn't, isn't difficult. That's the truth. In fact, my mentor said to me, if you're not making money, it's actually an indicator. It's an indicator that something's wrong. That's what it is. But how many people are honest with themselves to say, okay, what is it that needs to be changed within me to get that right? If my son can be making money at the age of 11, and like I said, the world has changed, so that ain't even nothing. Anyone heard of a guy called Tiny Trump? No. You have? Okay. This guy, and the beauty of what we're saying now, the times that we're living in, you just need to check things out for yourself. You just go on Google and see if it's real or not. Yeah? Tiny, Tiny Trump, it's, uh, he became a millionaire at seven. Seven? Is it? Is it? Was it seven? About seven, wasn't it? You know, millionaire at seven was making money from when he was four. Was it three or four? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Oh, you, you were sleeping when we were. <laughs> so, if you don't believe me, Tiny Trump, go check him out. Making money. These are the kind of images that our young people need to see, right? Because then they'll be like, wow. My son came home when he was about 10 with this book of a guy in a school uniform with um, his tie. His name was Father Gray. Anyone heard of Father Gray? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. See, these are the things that we should be investing in. Finding out where success is and learning about it. This guy was a millionaire at 11, a black guy in America. Whilst well, he was in school. He's 21 now. He's been on Oprah, the whole world. So how come we don't know about it? These guys. How comes these images are not being put in front of our young people? 